Hi, my name is Michelle and I work for the Exceptional Family Member Program. And today I have you here to speak about questions that you should ask your child care provider prior to starting services with them. In the event you've already started services with them, that's okay too. The questions I have outlined today are not inclusive questions. However, I do hope they start, start some type of dialogue with you and your provider in order to get the best quality of care for your child during the duration you're with that facility or that provider. So the accredited provider speaks to the quality of care that you'll be able to receive from that child care provider or that um, organization. So it's a really great question to start off with. So having those staff trainings or those educational opportunities speaks volumes because it gives you a better insight of whether or not that organization or that provider is open to learning new ways um, or even learning new techniques to help work with special needs children um, during the time that your child's with that organization. So having a better understanding of what they determine to be special needs or what their definition is, is really great because it gives you a better perspective of where they're coming from. It will reduce the misunderstandings. Um, it will give you better insight of uh, what they consider to be special needs, um, how they have probably even in the past uh, helped accommodate children with special needs. So it gives you a better understanding um, of, of who they are and where they are able to help and accommodate you. So this is a really big one too. If your child is able to maintain those services during duration um, of your time at a certain um, location, that's great. However, in the event your child may age out of the program and need before after school programs or school age care, you have to look into other outside providers um, for those resources. So this is really important because it offers you a background of the history of the organization. Have they already helped out um, persons that may have been in a similar situation? What have been their previous accommodations? Have they offered in the past? And what are their future accommodations that are willing to make to accommodate your child within their organization? So inclusion is really imperative. It speaks volumes because it has been proven that inclusion increases life skills such as empathy, compassion, language development, social skills as well. So having an organization that is really big on inclusion as well as diversity is really imperative. So what I mean by external services are a speech therapy offered at this organization, is physical therapy, occupational therapy offered? If not, uh, is the child care provider willing to integrate those services into your child's daily routine? If so, this will be a great added benefit. It reduces the likelihood of any time outside of the household by taking your child to and from different therapy providers. And will give added value to your, your family to have more meaningful interactions with each other inside the household without having to take your child to and from various therapy providers if the child care provider is offering that service to you inside the facility. So the joys speak to what their internal motivations are and the challenges speaks to um, what have they had to learn about themselves and has there been any educational opportunities or any educational trainings to overcome those challenges to make those challenges no longer a weakness but a strength. So as a parent, is your presence always needed for a child to overcome a small emergency? Or is this something you can do or take care of in my absence? Do I have to be present? Or is this something that you can do on your own and then inform me of when I pick my child up at the end of the day? So those are questions that I would suggest that you ask your child care provider um, just to make sure you're getting the best quality of care from your child care organization or your child care provider.